Kaner Brode Bond, or simply Brode Bond, was an exclusive African Calvinist and male secret society in South Africa dedicated to the advancement of Afrikaans people. It was founded by H.J. Klopper, H.W. Van der Meve, D.H.C. Duplessis, and Rev. Joshua Nodia on 5 June 1918 as Jong Zuid Africa, Dutch for Young South Africa, until 1920 when it was renamed the Brother Bond. The organization had one main aim, to further Afrikaner nationalism in South Africa, to maintain Afrikaner culture, to develop an Afrikaner economy, to gain control of the South African government. Its influence within South African political and social life came to a climax with the 1948-1994 rule of the white supremacist National Party and its policy of apartheid, which was largely developed and implemented by broader bond members. Between 1948 and 1994, many prominent figures of the African political, cultural and religious life, including every leader of the South African government, were members of the African broader bond. Notable members included D.F. Malan, former Prime Minister, H.F. Vervoet, former Prime Minister, B.J. Vosta, former Prime Minister and State President, J.S. Gerig, Vice Chancellor Stellenbosch University, Pick Botta, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, H.P. Thom, historian and former reactor of Stellenbosch University, P.W. Botta, former Minister of Defense and Prime Minister, he left the broader bond, Anton Rupert, billionaire entrepreneur and businessman, a member in the 1990s. 1940s, but eventually dismissed it as an absurdity and left the organization. Martinez Van Skalvik, a former member of the youth wing of the Brother Bond, the last leader of the National Party, and former Minister of Tourism in the NC government of Jacob Zuma. F.W. de Klerk, former South African State President and leader of the National Party. Described later as an inner sanctum, an immense informal network of influence, and by Smarts as a dangerous, cunning, political fascist organization. Made up of a group of 37 white men of Afrikaner ethnicity, Afrikaans language, and Calvinist faith, who shared cultural, semi-religious, and deeply political objectives based on tradition and experiences dating back to the arrival of Dutch white settlers, French Huguenots, and German settlers at the Cape in the 17th and 18th centuries, and including the dramatic events of the Great Trek in the 1830s and 1840s. Eva Wilkins and Hans Strydom recount how, on the occasion of its 50th anniversary, a leading brother or member said, For understandable reasons, it was difficult to explain our aim. In the beginning, people were allowed in who thought it was just another cultural society. The precise intentions of the founders are not clear. Some considered that the group was intended to counter the dominance of the British Empire and the English language, whilst others considered that the purpose was to redeem the Afrikaners after their defeat in the Second anglo boer War. Another view is that it sought to protect culture, build an economy, and seize control of the government. The remarks of the organization's chairman in 1944 offer a slightly different and possibly a more accurate interpretation in the context of the post boer War and post-World War I era, when Afrikaners were suffering through a maelstrom of social and political changes. The Afrikaner Brother Bond was born out of a deep conviction that the Afrikaners had been planted in the country by the hand of God, destined to survive as a separate people with its own calling. The traditional, deeply pious Calvinism of the Afrikaner, a pastoral people with a difficult history in South Africa since the mid-17th century, supplied an element of Christian predestination that led to a determination to take the country from the English-speaking population of British descent and place its future in the hands of Afrikaans-speaking Afrikaners. To the old thirst for sovereignty that had prompted the great trek into the interior from 1833 on would be added a new thirst for total independence and nationalism. These two threads merged to form a Christian national civil religion that would dominate South African life from 1948 to 1994. The emergence of the Bruder Bond took place amidst the backdrop of a rise in African nationalism as a result of the Second Boer War 1899 to 1902, which saw the British annex the South African Republic and the Orange Free State. During the conflict, the British deployed scorched earth tactics against the Afrikaner, destroying Bore farms and in turning captured Bore non-combatants in concentration camps where roughly 27,000 Bores died. 
The war was brought to an end by the Treaty of Verinacheng, which though generous in its terms, was seen by the Afrikaners as deeply humiliating. The policies of British administrator Lord Milner was also a major source of resentment amongst the Afrikaners. These developments led to an increase in nationalistic sentiments amongst the Afrikaners, leading to the formation of the Broder Bond and the National Party. The National Party had been established in 1914 by Afrikaner nationalists. They first came to power in 1924. Ten years later, its leader, J.P.M. Herzog and Jan Smuts of the South African Party merged their parties to form the United Party. This angered a contingent of hardline nationalists under D.F. Malan who broke away to form the Purified National Party. By the time World War II broke out, resentment towards the British had not subsided. Malan's party opposed South Africa's entry into the war on the side of the British. Some of its members wanted to support Nazi Germany. Germany. Jan Smuts had commanded British army forces in the East African theater of the First World War and was amenable to backing the Allies a second time. This was the spark Afrikaner nationalism needed. Herzog, who was in favor of being neutral, resigned from the United Party when a narrow majority of his cabinet backed Jan Smuts. He started the Afrikaner Party, which would amalgamate later with D.F. Malan's Purified National Party to become the force that would take over South African politics for the next 46 years until majority rule and Nelson Mandela's election in 1994. Every prime minister and state president in South Africa from 1948 to the end of apartheid in 1994 was a member of the Afrikaner Brother Bond. Once the National Party was in power, English-speaking bureaucrats, soldiers and state employees were sidelined by reliable Afrikaners with key points going to Brother Bond members with their ideological commitment to separatism. The electoral system itself was manipulated to reduce the impact of immigrant English speakers and eliminate that of Africans. The National Party was the product of the reunion of the Purified National Party and the United Party in 1940. The Afrikaner Brother Bond continued to act in secret, infiltrating and gaining control of a few organizations such as the South African Agricultural Union which had political power and were opposed to a further escalation of apartheid policies. Members of political parties right of the National Party were not welcome and 200 members were expelled by 1972. In 1983, when the Conservative Party was founded with Andres as a leader, all Brother Bond members who belonged to the newly formed party were no longer welcome in the Brother Bond. Andres, C.W. Boshoff, and H.J. Klopper, previous chairman, left the organization. Other members, like H.J. Van der Berg, left too. In 1985, the Afrikaner Brother Bond realized that change needed to take place in South African politics. Although the government did not talk openly with the banned African National Congress, Congress, it was decided by the organization they should start negotiating. On 8 June 1986, J.P. Delange, the then chairman, met Tabumbek in New York for a five-hour meeting held at a conference organized by the Ford Foundation. The meeting was just between Delange and Becky, but at the conference, other NC members, Mac Maharaj, Siretsi Chaobi, Charles Villa Fizencio, and Peggy Delani were present. Although the press had maintained a steady trickle of unsourced exposés of the inner workings and members of the Brother Bond since the 1960s, the first comprehensive expose of the organization was a book written by Evo Wilkins and Hans Stridom, the Super Afrikaner. Inside the Afrikaner Brother Bond, first published in 1978, the most notable and discussed section of the book was the last section, which consisted of a near-comprehensive list of 7,500 Brother Bond members. 